Hey guys, Will here. So today we are very lucky to have Pascalis Gurkis from VRS to train us around the Nürburgring slash Nordschleife combined 24 hour circuit. So this is part of my training for the PESC All-Stars race. But what we're gonna be doing today is basically going through corner by corner, a little bit different from the previous training video that I posted up where we kind of focused on my particular driving and the mistakes that I was making compared to him. Today, we're just gonna be going through his lap corner by corner. It's gonna take quite a bit of time, but hopefully you guys will find this as beneficial as I have. Obviously it is specific to the GTE style cars in terms of how aggressive you can be with the curbs and where exactly the braking markers are. And I think that regardless of the car that you're driving, you'll absolutely pick up some helpful tips that will hopefully help you to pick up some time as well as some consistency and maybe not crash so much around this awesome circuit. So let's roll the tape now. I'll just uh, let you know ahead of time, this is a screen capture from a screen share that we did on Discord. So the visual quality might be a little bit low or a little bit lower than what you're used to from this channel. But nonetheless, I think the content itself is going to be really handy for you. So if you enjoy it, please do consider a thumbs up and maybe subscribing to the channel as well. But without further ado, let's jump into it. Of course, we start the track now at the start finish line a lot more speed than normal mm -hmm. because we don't come out of the final corner, we come out through the Norge knife. Eh? Yeah, so we approach that one a lot quicker than mm -hmm. usual when we start around from the GP track. Yeah, the braking point is a 100 meter board, but now when we carry so much more speed, we're gonna break right around here. It's quite yep. late, you don't have to break that late, it's kind of right after the 150 mm -hmm. if you break that the 150 as well it's fine for me yeah that's uh, because you already can break it slightly after the 150. Mm -hmm. the car will start moving a bit it's not the, the easiest car to slow down into turn one you want to come quite close into the uh, into the white line yeah uh, you don't you definitely don't want to be in the middle you still want to have some even though we don't care about the exit as much this time yep because we don't go back to the, the GP circuit, we do that little yeah, cutting that so I almost forgot yesterday. Yeah, so losing speed on yeah. the exit, because, yeah, makes sense. Uh-huh, but we still need to, to set up a bit, yeah. let's say. Yeah. And, uh, of course, very important, as you go in towards the corner now, we can see the apex. Mm -hmm. As you go towards the corner, it's really important to start letting go of the brakes, because we're just going to have a lock-up. Yeah. Um, and then, the second part, once we commit into turning, uh, usually it's good if we can make the car right here if we can place the car yeah. um not on the curb because it will land very awkwardly mm -hmm. and you're not going to be able to go directly back on the throttle yeah but to the outer side of the curb and on the wide line it's very ideal mm -hmm. it will rotate the car nicely then a small hit on the throttle we mm -hmm. can already see now uh the next one yeah. and uh, you still want to create some separation from it mm -hmm. That's why it's really important to have a, a somewhat okay exit out of the corner. It's not as important as if as if it would be if we were continued here, yep. where you really need to set up for it. Mm -hmm. But you still need to place the car right around the middle of the track. So now, all you have to do, um, I don't know how much you're braking, maybe you're slowing down too much. It's a very light tap on the brake. It's basically, basically just to lift the rear mostly. Yep. It's not okay. about the speed of the car, it's not too severe anyway. Yeah. But when you just go off the throttle and hit the brakes, you raise was, the rear of the car. Um, I was turning into turn one a lot later than you as well, which is probably part of my mm -hmm. problem is I'm compromising my turn in for the second turn because I'm not straight lining it enough. So, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. And now as we go towards the corner, um, going on the curb is is okay. But even if you... Excuse me. Even if you don't, even if you go around it, mm -hmm. when I say around it though... I mean here. I don't yeah. mean past that. Yeah. It's still going to be fast. Maybe even faster. Because yeah. now it's quite bumpy here. Mm -hmm. um, I think so too. Uh, but what you don't want is to miss it completely. Because if you miss it, yeah. it's only you're going to lose time on the apex. It's going to throw you off here on this yep. slightly elevated area. You're going to hit the, this, uh, the orange, you know, the exit of the Mercedes Arena, basically, yep. on the GP circuit. And it's not as smooth. Sure. So... Um, it's really important to hit the apex here, but not as much maybe as as we just saw it. But still, you don't you want to be relatively close to it. Yep. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna go towards uh, turn three and four mm -hmm. uh, on the GP circuit, and obviously we want to bring it as much as we can on the right hand side. And um, you know, we want to be on the white line ideally. It's mm -hmm. not easy, I know, because you can easily clip the the gravel. However, 
um, the important part is to get your timing right. And I always break here. Okay. Right when the the that's the VLN layout basically where yeah. you turn to go back to the to the back straight. Mm -hmm. um, if you break right before this line and the road is it it should be pretty good. Okay. I break right here. Okay. Let me just go directly. Exactly here. Yeah. So it, uh, and the important part is uh, to not to do not to not be too heavy on the brakes. It's a relatively fast corner, and you don't want to slow down too yeah. much. Uh, once you go, obviously you want to brake mostly on a straight line, where it's gonna be the most efficient uh, phase of our braking. And then as we head towards the corner now, um, you don't want to commit too early. As you can see, I'm waiting. Not a really an early apex. I'm just uh, taking a slightly wider entry, and now m around the midway point of the of the corner, I want to bring it closer and closer to the white line. I don't want to run the curb. When you run the curb, it's usually an indication that you slow down a bit too much, more than needed. Um, <clears throat> and in this case now, we bring it nicely along the line. Um, and as I said, around the midway point of the corner. So now we go to a, the second phase, which is as important, I would say, uh, because even if you get the perfect entry here, you can ruin it. Uh, if you're too eager on the throttle. That's why now we're gonna go back on the throttle, but look how patient I am. I am this patient because now as I go towards the, the corner, I wanna keep it around the middle of the track. If I floor it, I would go all the way to the right. Yeah. I think it makes sense, right? Yep, makes perfect sense. So, even if you can replicate something, uh, my entry, you... The, the point that you need to focus a lot on, even if your entry is sluggish, if you run a bit wide, what you want to do, to out of the first part, you want to bring the car right around here. Yeah. You can correct it by bringing it here. Uh, because now, what this allows us is to set up for the exit. And it's really important, especially with the baseline, because it's not really a car that has a lot of rotation, and you really need to work on your lines a lot more than you would have with a normal setup, which is obviously more aggressive, uh, more sharp, and... Uh, Generally, you know, uh, it's harder to drive, obviously, yeah. but it has more cornering abilities and a more aggressive setup. This is a baseline, it's a slightly more uh, easy, let's yeah. say. Uh, now, you have to, to hit the brakes. Now that we are back on a straight line, we pick at this moment right here. Um, and then we are going to trade, we're going to, you know... Uh, no, I don't. I didn't want to say trail. I wanted to say track out. Yeah. I want to track out a bit to the left, not too much. You don't <laughs> want to end up on the line. Yep. Um, just so you can open up uh, your entry a bit, approach with a nice angle, uh, and then as I'm entering the corner, similar to what I did to the first left hander. Do you remember? We didn't commit too too early into the corner, yep. and around the midway point of it, that's when we made the apex. Mm -hmm. uh, lightly trail breaking to the corner, as you can see. Yep very very close to the get to the white line we had a bit more uh, but then when you um, when you manage to to basically set up your car uh, for the exit like this then you can be really aggressive with the mm -hmm. throttle because the moment I step on the throttle no hesitation at all using all the uh, the astroturf and the gravel a bit and that gives me a really nice exit so it's really important to basically bring the car uh, it starts from here basically mm -hmm. um, Trying to keep a car within its limits. You're not going to slip wide. Uh, you're going to keep it around the middle at this point right here. That will allow you to set up nicely for the exit. And you're going to bring your car uh, late into the corner, uh, late apex. And that gives us a really nice uh, exit. Yeah. Small straight now until we go to the... Um, um, I don't remember the corner of the name. The, the name of the... Uh, uh, the name of the corner. So we're just going to call it turn 5. <laughs> um, usually, what I'm always watching is this. Uh, this is usually my breaking point, And I want to bring the car on it. And as yeah. you can see. So you don't have to do that. It's just me being aggressive. Even if you just keep it on the line and then bring it slowly mm -hmm. towards it. It is fine. But I, I try to bring it immediately. Yeah. Um, I use it as my braking reference. I think it's really helpful. And uh, you want to use the extra width. 
mm -hmm. uh, just so to approach the corner from a nicer angle. Yep. Obviously, you don't want to to break too heavily here. It's very tempting to, and it's very easy to miss your breaking point and just go with uh, t the front wheel is completely locked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, into the corner, so we have to be really careful of that. And as you can see now, I'm gonna use the extra width of the track initially. Uh, look how much more space we're given. I would say like half a meter. Mm -hmm. That is. It's like half of the car basically yeah. and um, it's some help and then up, up, when we uh, after our our initial bite on the brakes we're gonna uh, that's now that we're going into the this corner which is um, really important uh, because I, it seems that it has many lines but for me it's pretty clear which line works yeah and I'll show you now that we played it once uh, what is usually my approach i don't say you should replicate it every lap it's not easy mm -hmm. uh, but as a general mindset because i don't know what your line is like but um yeah, what do you want uh, to do i'm basically following the the darker tire trail mm -hmm. on the track so you're turning okay. in, you're turning in quite a bit earlier than i am okay it all starts from here yeah you want to hug the inside a bit more initially as you can see keeping mm -hmm. it really narrow and and and, and tidy mm -hmm. we're pretty narrow here but we're carrying a lot of speed yep um so naturally the car will track out midway into the corner mm -hmm. and i would still think that it was this was a bit more than i would have liked okay. i'd like to be because now on the exit i do not meet the curb or the white line yep. usually so i want to come a bit tighter yeah and okay. however uh, that's not a bad thing in our case because it shows <coughs> a non-perfect yeah. section here, which yeah. is, is more more probable to be the case even if I race this. Yeah. Um, but initially, you want to drop the car on the inside, let it roll out a bit. That's the part where you really have to be careful, mm -hmm. and it, it depends how much you break before the corner. Yeah. Um, you want the car itself to to track out a bit so you can still gather some momentum for the exit it's still very mm -hmm. very important okay. and now once you're able to see the exit curb on the left uh, we're gonna go back on the throttle aggressively on it and you want to make use of the whole track when you go out of the corner it's always an indication that you are aggressive and that's really really important yeah okay uh, but the, the the first part to remember throughout the whole section is to always kind of drop the car on the inside uh say a wide uh, as we go out of the corner and mm -hmm. then try to bring it close to the curb not too close because you have probably sacrificed too much speed but you want to be relatively tight all around yep. um, don't let the car get loose and try to not approach it from a wide entry from the don't try to be wide here because if you're wide at this point if you don't cut inside to a bit earlier than normal mm -hmm. you're just gonna go wider and wider especially uh, unless you have braked too much, which is then it's just gonna be wrong. I think I don't yeah. think you're gonna be able to get uh, the most out of the corner. Mm -hmm. Everything okay? Should I just yeah, yeah. continue? Yeah, that's fine. All right. Hope it's uh. uh well, you're enough. definitely doing some things that are drastically different from what I'm doing, so that's a good that's a good start. <laughs> All right, perfect. Uh, of course, if you have any question or you want something clarified, sure. stop me. Sure. No, you're right. Okay. No. <clears throat> we're gonna go towards the Schumacher S and I'm sometimes using the curb here mm -hmm. um, if you don't feel com but don't go over this I'm just barely okay. putting it on the on the rumble mm -hmm. strip and now as you can see right on my turning point I I'm just gonna drop the throttle very very slightly it's uh, that's the first lap I think on the second lap you don't need to do that in a race but still Sure. This little drop on the throttle doesn't lose more than a tenth. Yeah. And I guess when you're flat out, it kind of slides. So you can still yeah, lose a tenth. I so. wasn't confident trying to hold it flat through here. I did, oh, okay. I did actually try a couple of times last night. And um, yeah, I just it was, mm -hmm. just, it was too sketchy okay. for me. Like I kind of felt like it wasn't worth the risk for a tenth. You know? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you lose this tenth a lot say, more safely here. Exactly. If you start yeah. sliding, you lose more than a tenth. So. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Try to drop the throttle not too much though. Try to to be to contain it a bit. You don't want to drop it too much. Look how little it is. Yeah. Basically seventy five percent, which is nothing. And what I'm what is, this is gonna do now? 
I'm gonna unload the rear tires. I'm gonna put more load to the front tires now. There is the rear of the car. It's gonna give us some nice rotation. And now this is right at the turning point, so it's really important that we go around the curb. So you need to time it perfectly right. I'm basically lifting the throttle the, the moment I'm starting to turn it into the corner. Um, and I'm going right around the curb using the white line. And then by this time around, I'm already flat out. And uh, of course, you want to cut across nicely on this part. And then we're going to go to turn 7 and 8. Yeah. Pretty important section here. Uh, because it will set us up for the back straight and we want a relatively good exit. And then when we start to brake for this one, we're going to be quiet before the 100 meter board. I'm always looking at the AstroTurf on the right as my braking point. Mm -hmm. And of course, I want to brake quite before that, as you can see. It's really important to back it up here. It, yep. I'm, I'm, it's a corner where I'm fine if you are not too aggressive. Yeah. Uh, because, um, of course, I'm always making use of the AstroTurf a bit you want to it's a bit mm -hmm. greasy and it's not as grippy uh, so it may extend your braking phase a bit um, but as I said it's one of those corners where I don't mind if you're a bit safer because the goal is to ride this curb and have a relatively tight exit out of the corner yeah. and I'll show you why as you can see here uh, I'm off the brakes completely making use of the curb on the on the left hand side and mm -hmm. that allows us now to be a bit more to have a bit more room to work with because now I'm back on the throttle easily within the track limits you don't want to be too wide here because now our goal is to go all the way to the left and set up for the exit of uh, turn 8 and as you can see even with such an um, early braking and turning I was comfortably on the curb on the entry I'm still quite hesitant so you have to be extremely patient here and careful with the throttle and it still pushed us relatively wide yeah um, now, what we need to do is go all the way to the left as much as you can, so you can set up um, for the entry to turn 8. As you can see, look how wide we took our car. Yeah. It's really important that we um, get ourselves probably on the white line, because now we're going to approach the, the corner from an angle that, uh, that allows us to carry a lot more momentum, and that's what it's all about here, because now... I'm doing basically nothing uh, from this point on, in, when I'm starting to turn into the corner, I may go slightly on the brakes, very, very lightly, but that's like nothing. I think I'm just using the engine braking here. And all you have to do, w uh, wide entry, late apex once again, don't commit too early into the corner because when you do that, you have to sacrifice your speed, your exit. You have to wait for the car to uh, run over the curb and of course, if you turn in too early, you're going to have to wait for the... Yeah. For the to up to the throttle application because you're just gonna run off yeah. wide. You need to time it right. So the moment you step on the throttle, you don't have any second thoughts or hesitations. Yeah. As you can see, waiting for the car to rotate. Once I'm hitting the the curb slightly, I, I would say I was a bit safer here. Ideally, I'd, I want to be on the white line. Once you are getting really close to the to the curb, and look at where at at which stage we reach the apex. That yeah. we're already on the throttle and then we're gonna go very very aggressive making use of the whole track on my way out of the corner and give ourselves a nice exit but as I said everything starts from uh, from the two corners before where he kind of set up for it so it's really important to contain yourself and get yourself to the right spot yeah. especially for the exit out of this corner now gonna go to the um, what is the corner of the the name? I don't remember. <laughs> it's the fast chicane. Yeah, I have uh, no idea. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember any of the. I only know fluke plats because it's just a fast corner that everyone says all the time. You know, we have a lot of German guys in the team. Yeah. And they when they you know they rave about the Neuschleife. Yeah. And uh, <coughs> when they speak about a corner they just say the corner the name and <laughs> like, they want you to find it <laughs> no 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 they they want uh, they want um they want us to find it yeah they yeah. don't care <laughs> so yeah now for this um for this section right here yep we're gonna start breaking right after the 100 meter board what i usually see 
if you want my opinion, I always look at this extra yep. wide <clears> concrete. <throat> yep. That's okay. my breaking point. Right. I was and I want to make use of it later than that. Yeah. No, 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 you don't need to break too late for that. Yeah, and okay. I want to make use of the extra concrete, as you can see. Um, because it's just going to give us a bit more room to approach the, the chicane, which is, for me, I don't really like this one. You, know, you want to break mostly on a straight line, use all of the braking force there. And then when we're able to see the first curve, we're going to go off the brakes and, you know, it is really important that we do that and we don't break late because if you start turning and breaking it to this section, uh, not only you're going to probably miss out on the corner, mm -hmm. you're going to sail a bit wider, mm -hmm. you're just going to have a very hard time on the exit and your average speed around the whole section is just going to be very low. Yep. That's something we really, really don't want. Mm -hmm. And um, once we turn into the corner, aiming for the first curb, as you can see, we're doing a good job with that, I would say. Yep. Uh, get, getting the car really close to the to the limit. Mm -hmm. You want to bring it really, really close to this one. You don't want to cut too much because yep. you can easily pick up an off-track as well. Mm -hmm. But um, when you get your first apex right, then the second one becomes really easy. You almost straight line the rest of yep. the section. Yep. And as you can see, I'm not flat out at this point. I'm I'll flat out for a brief moment mm -hmm. after I'm past the first apex. And I'm going to drop the throttle once yep. I'm about to turn in for the second one. You see how much easier now this one is? Because if yeah. we nailed the first. <clears throat> yep. Now we're able to cut across, dropping the throttle slightly just to give my car some rotation and, and then be able to direct the, the direction of the car. Yep. Then on my way out of the, of the corner, keeping it really close with the curb. So we're now back at the North Life and of course, a good sign of a good exit of the chicane is when you are gonna bring yourself really close to the to the yeah, to the um, to the left curb on the right here. Yeah. And what we're gonna do? We're gonna track out a bit, but very slightly. I think it was this this line was still excessive. Um, yeah. but it was pretty okay. You can bring it that far. You don't want to go all the way to the right. Um, and as you can see. Pretty long braking zone, but very soft. So I'm just trail braking throughout the whole section, basically. Opening up my line, <coughs> uh, lightly on the brakes, sl mm -hmm. slowing down without obviously overdoing it because I want to keep myself parallel to the curb. It's really important uh, that you follow along nicely and you, you get to the closest point here. Yep. This is basically when I'm almost hooked up on the curb. You don't want to be hooked up, obviously. Yeah, as soon as you touch but it, you it wanna... spears you into the mm -hmm. outside wall. Yeah. But just take a look from the moment we start braking. We're getting closer and closer, slightly, but we never meet. So it's really important to control two things. And obviously here, the decent exit. Um, so it's really important to control two things. One is, is the speed of the car. Mm -hmm. And it, it kind of goes hand to hand. Um, and then your line. Um, when I say speed, um, it goes hand to hand to hand because if you don't slow down too much, you're not gonna have to adjust your your line. You're yeah. just gonna keep the wheel at the same ratio, pretty much, run parallel to the curb and just meet the curb at the end of the of the corner. Um, so if you keep the speed of the car in a good level, maintain your uh, trajectory as well. It should be fine. If you brake too much, you're going to meet the curb a lot earlier and you will have to adjust. So that's something we don't want. Uh, yeah. So try to be soft with the brake. I'm not worried with you overshooting this corner. Yeah. I'm more like worried you slow down a bit too much if you coast into the section a bit more and meet the apex a bit early and then you're going to sacrifice a lot of your exit. Yeah. Of course, right here, we're back on the throttle. We're having a lot of steering uh, lock applied. Mm -hmm. So, and it's also uphill. So the car is really gonna struggle for traction. So we have to be really careful here uh, we, to not overdo it and lose the rear end. Yeah. Now we're gonna go into the Nordschleife and um, and uh, you're actually gonna see a small mistake from my end here, I think. Mm -hmm. What we want to do is basically go a bit wide right mm -hmm. within the second white line thing i see that a bit but yeah, yeah it's right there mm -hmm. and you want to open up the corner lightly light braking here but you want to basically turn a lot later than you think here i guess you've noticed <coughs> it already yep and uh, 
what happened here. I downshifted into first, but the rear end got really oh, loose, yeah, yeah. as you can see. Yeah. But I, I managed to to hold it. Yeah. If you look at it, even though I lost the rear end, we still hit the apex, I think. Yeah, you didn't actually lose too much time at all by the looks of things. That's pure skill Yeah, right probably I did. <laughs> yeah, but um, you want to meet the apex here. like. Yeah. That was like a all-wheel drive drift almost. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I put back second. Yeah. But you want to reach the apex right around this point because now you have to can go flat out immediately. Yep. Uh, so try to not to brake too heavily. Extend mm. your line a bit. And, you know, uh, just turn in a bit late. Uh, don't come it too early because it's mm -hmm. a curve. Or if you just touch it, yeah, it's just going to cost you so much. And then on your way out of the corner... You can use the outside curb if you have to, although the car has plenty of downforce, that should not be the case. Uh, you won't really need to exceed the, all the limits at this point. Going now downhill towards the Nordschleife, uh, get yourself as wide as you are comfortable with in this section. Yeah. Because now, remember what I was saying yesterday? It's going to be flat out. Yep. It's really important that you, it's, it's, it's really important to get a comfortable yourself comfortably in, in sections like this yeah. where it's flat out so you don't you, you don't lose time here yeah yeah no, i understand I was, if I we do some to, time in a i was able to get mm -hmm. this flat out yesterday so that's, okay that's fine mm -hmm. i understand if we miss some time in a section where it's tricky uh, we can afford to lose some time there, but we re what where we really don't want to lose time is in flat out sections. Yeah, North mm -hmm. And as you can see, keeping it relatively wide on the entry, so mm -hmm. I can uh, have plenty of room. Yep. Uh, to work, and it's uh, the closer you can get it to the white line here. I think I think that's a pretty good reference. Mm -hmm. um, the closer you can get it to the curb and the white line, the less you have to worry about the car not making the corner without lifting. And I think it was pretty comfortable, as you can see. Um, and now we go to the death trap area of the track. Uh, <laughs> now this part here. Yeah. If I showed you another car, maybe if I showed you the M4 GT3 that I did. This is com a completely different track because I smash every curb. Uh, and that's not gonna be the case with the RSR. Mm -hmm. So we have to, you have to be really careful when you enter the section. Yeah. And this, I guess, it's very very scary. Yeah, I think um, um, usually um, clipping that inside curb, which we're just approaching mm -hmm. here, is what caused us both to crash yesterday. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh. I know. My breaking point is usually this graffiti, this uh, white graffiti that stands out here, mm -hmm. right before the final one, is yep. what I'm using for a breaking reference, if yep. that helps. Yep. That's and I'm going to keep it... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was breaking I'm gonna keep the line, it basically. Perfect. Yep. I'm going to try to keep it smooth and steady. I'm not breaking all that much. And you see this little dip here? Mm -hmm. That is caused for one reason I'm going to show you uh, once we reach that. Okay. I'm going to go now on the brakes, making sure I'm looking at the, the curb on the left. Mm -hmm. And you see me dropping the brakes because now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to turn in slightly for this one. And you know, well, you can't really brake at around 50% with this car yep. and turn because we have no ABS. It's just going to lock up. So I'm lifting off the brakes a bit just so I can place the car nicely um, on this section. And then when I'm back on the red, like a straight line section here, yep. sort of, I'm going to increase the braking pressure again. So it makes sense, right? Yep, I'm only dropping the brake pressure because I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure your your trace would look very, very similar here. Yeah. Um, We'll go around the curb as well. And then more heavily on the brakes. Make sure you bring the car really close to the curb here. I feel like this is a, a cumbered area where the car is hooked up nicely. And when you go wide here, you really miss out. Yeah. So it's really important that you keep the car within its limits here. And bring it really, really close to the white line and the curb, I guess. Um, that's where you need to be. And... We're going to go immediately back on the throttle. I think this is a section where you can go a bit faster than you what you think. Because the car grips up nicely. And then we're going to go back again on the throttle. Very, very aggressive, as you can see. Yeah. And then we're going to go to the rest of the section. What I'm going to do here initially, very small drop on the throttle. And it's pretty simple why I do it, right? 
Yeah. Uh, just want to raise the rear, mm -hmm. get some more rotation when we lift. Yep. Um, you can take this flat out, but you're not going to be able to take it with a right angle and the way I would like to set it set up for it. So yep. small lift that will help us later into the section. And mm -hmm. again, around the curbs, as you can see. And then as we go to the rest of uh, corner here, the corners here, we have a, the right hander with a very tall curb that you really need to stay away from. Yep. Uh, light up on the brakes. Uh, not too severe. You don't want to slow down too much, so try to not uh, overdo it with the brakes. That's the only thing I'm kind of afraid. Uh, afraid. Um, that I noticed maybe mm -hmm. when we're driving. Okay. Uh, but that's normal. It's a long track. You are learning it. You wanna set your limits, obviously, but try to not to compromise too much speed. You don't. You yeah. you want to tiptoe around the track with this car. It has plenty of downforce, so yeah. Um, we have to use that. <coughs> Light up on the brakes, as I said. You okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, just coughing myself to death here, but I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, looking at the curb here, of course, we're now, that, now that's the time where we're going to really go over this curb. Yep. Just kidding. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> as you can see, we're going around this one as well. Yep. This is the curb you really don't want to hit. Yeah. Because yeah. it's just, it's it's over. You're not, you're not going to land with four wheels on there. Yeah. No, it's very much like threading a needle, this section. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, same thing again, going around the curb nicely. Mm -hmm. And then uh, for this one, pretty simple. Lightly on the brakes again. Mm -hmm. Make sure you don't turn it too early because you don't want to ride the curb once again. You just want to go around it. Yep. And then that allows us to go aggressively back on the throttle. You can be aggressive here. You're going downhill. You won't have to worry about the rear end. Mm -hmm. Try to not clip the curb while sliding yep i don't know if you had it some yeah, moments I've where that happened in this car <laughs> not in this particular okay, spot okay. but i know exactly what you're talking about as soon as you unsettle the rear yep. when it's already out, out of shape it just spits you around yep, mm -hmm. yep. <clears throat> try to not do that yep and then we're gonna go to the final corner of this section make sure you extend to the left use all of the track as much of the as much of the track as you're comfortable uh light up on the brakes very slow uh, very Basically, momentarily, not keeping the brakes engaged for too long. Now, this is the, the time we are, we are really going to hook up the car over a curb. Yep. That's it. Yep. Um, we're going to try to place it over it, uh, right here, as you can see. Mm -hmm. It's pretty bumpy. The car still is unsettled. Yep. But it, it is perfectly fine. You want to hook it up nicely over this curb, mm -hmm. uh, just to cut across this pit and make our lives a bit easier on this part on of the, cur of the track right here. As you can see, I still had trouble. Mm -hmm. uh, on the exit, I uh, was probably a bit too eager on the throttle, but when you cut across it, you just make your life easier a bit yeah. here. Yeah, gotcha. You want to stay away from the curb, mm -hmm. that will give you a nice uh, exit towards... Uh, well, now we go to Flugblatt's. Hey, I know a corner. Hey! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Uh, yeah. Relatively simple section, mm -hmm. but it requires a lot of confidence. You want to keep it flat out here, obviously, yep. as we go up the hill. And now, right before the first apex, um, all you have to do, no brakes, as you can see, big yeah. drop on the <coughs> throttle. It was probably too much. I would like to be at 50%, yeah, ideally. Yeah. And I, I drop the throttle the moment I start turning in. So it has mm -hmm. to be simultaneous. Yep. Uh, you want to bring it really close to the curb without actually going over it. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I think we're really spot on here. Yep. Yeah, there we are. You want to bring it right on the white line. And at this point, once you hit the apex, you have to you have to be flat out from this point on. A car it's, itself has so much downforce. Yeah. I don't think you, you'll have any <clears throat> issues. Yeah, no, I'm good, um, with, good with this uh, bit now, I think. Yeah, I think. It's only tricky with cars like the GT4 or the cab car when yeah. I've driven those in yeah. here. Where you really... Uh, if you if you're close to the limit, you can really gain time yeah. here over well, your I think competition. This car, the, through no. this section, you're going fast enough that you've got the full benefit of the downforce, and it kind of keeps you glued yeah. pretty well. Whereas the GT4 mm -hmm. cars, they tend to skate around a bit more. After Flugplatz, we're now going into another very very fast corner where it's really important that we don't um, we don't um, I don't know how to say it when you don't slow down too much. Yeah. You don't want to chicken out basically let's <laughs> say it like that 
It's don't really important that we. Pussy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> uh, because a car has so much downforce, it yeah. can handle it perfectly fine. Yeah. Um, we go to this. Uh, I don't remember the name again. We're gonna turn in right at the five kilometer board, yeah. and on my turn in point, all I'm gonna do is just drop the throttle even less here. You need even less. But what is important is that you. I void and croids. There it is. Yep. Uh, what you don't want to do is have a late turn in because you want to bring the car nicely on the inside. If you don't do, if you don't early turn in in time, you're yeah, gonna run okay. run off wide and you're yeah. gonna have to <clears throat> lift even more. And if yeah. you if you put a foot on the grass, you're just gonna be a passenger from that point and yeah, I can go see towards the barriers. You're turning in quite a bit earlier than I am there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So try to be a bit sharp in general. Yep. Because uh, when you do that, you are now breaking. For this corner on the left hand side so you you you, are, you have the ideal line already and you don't you're not on the right hand side and then you don't go like this towards yeah. the breaking point yeah it's not a big deal even if you're in the middle mm -hmm. but you just have to let to do less work yep. and you don't have to to, to yeah to you're push already the tires kind of right on the limit of locking up under brakes here anyway mm -hmm. you want to be having the wheel as straight as possible i suppose exactly yeah exactly and uh, right after the kink, when we are, it's very hard to define a breaking point. It's always before, yeah. I mean, quite before the the lighter patch on the road appears. Yeah. But um, in general, once we're back on the straight from the kink, mm -hmm. you want to go back on the brakes. Yeah. And obviously, it's a long braking zone. It's important to uh, start uh, lifting off as we go towards the corner. Mm -hmm. Don't commit too early into it. You want to come closer and closer to the apex. Um, and uh, carry as much speed as you can into the corner. Uh, so you, the, the moment you go on the power, it's a one hit. You yeah. don't have to adjust from that point yeah. on. And that's exactly what I'm doing, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Look how uh, the only reason I'm so direct is we go downhill, yeah. so the car is not gonna have any problems with the rear end. It's just gonna be able to be uh, planted, and yeah. with, with, we won't have to worry about the traction or having any wheel spin mm -hmm. out of it. But what is important? Uh, First braking phase, bring the car slower, slowly into the apex, get as close as you can to the white line. Mm -hmm. And now, oops, I have to play the auto next. And now we're going to go uh, into this downhill section, obviously flat out here. Mm -hmm. Just uh, try to straight line everything. Um, left and right. Pretty, pretty easy yeah. here. Now we go. Um, I, I, it's a difficult corner, but I saw that you did a very, very good yeah, job. Yeah, I don't seem to have any problem with this corner. It's funny because it is a and tricky one, but it is a really it. tricky one. Yeah, because yeah, you're turning, and you're turning in blind. But I think I'm just kind of experienced with it. And for this corner, it's pretty simple. Pretty simple. Well, uh, pretty standard. What we have to do. Uh, firstly, we have to bring ourselves as close as we can to the right curb, right here. Yeah. And just to uh, maximize the width of the track, which is pretty limited here. And you, the first thing you don't have to do here is um, to you, you really want to be soft with the braking. Yep. You don't want to slow down too much. We're already going uphill, yep. so the car is going to slow down itself mm -hmm. pretty easily. It's interesting uh, to see how much modulation, how much modulation you're doing there. That's quite a lot <clears throat> um you mean in a good way or you mean oh no, uh, adjusting? Not, it's just it's either either or it's just interesting how much how much you're adjusting there oh would you have a prolonged braking threshold I here i or? haven't actually had a look at my chart but i think that mm -hmm. I'm, my braking is a little smoother through there than yours is which is interesting i mean obviously obviously you're you're feeling something that's causing you to make adjustments i'm just curious uh, as to uh, what it is that you're actually you're feeling the back end of the uh, car trying to get away from you or i'll show you okay uh once i'm now turning in into the corner yep it's important to use some of the car, but obviously the car is not perfect over yeah, it. Yeah. So sometimes it may be. Uh, ah, I see. Ah, uh, yeah. See there why. it is. You had a yeah, slide. There, okay. there it is. Now it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I remembered <laughs> the moment I saw how the car reacted. Yeah, yeah. 
on the on the curb. I remember. And you probably you probably backed now. out of the brake as well because you know that if you're braking while you're on the curb, it's going to just spin you. So yeah, yeah, that makes a lot um, more sense now. What went wrong here? That's actually a good point. I the, it, when you don't go completely over the curb and you put you, you go halfway. Yeah, it's just the car. The curb just sends sends the car away. It doesn't yeah. like it for some reason. Yeah. So you want to either go completely over it, yep. or you want to go around it. But around it, I'm not so much a fan of it because you limit mm. your width of the track it's immediately. It's funny how th- this car seems to reward commitment very, very well. Like even even if you go hammering over a curb or something, as long as you're committed to it, it seems to be okay. It's when, like kind of what you were saying when you're kind of in the middle and you kind of mm-hmm. like if if it knows that you're not sure what you're doing, it's just going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You said it perfectly. Yeah. Um. And now, obviously, I'm correcting the car a bit, and then I'm back on track, let's say, now. And from this point on, I need to really work with my with my pedals yep. and get the right uh, right, right line sorted. Uh, I'm going to keep it nice and smooth and uh, on this, mm-hmm. r- on the right one here. Yep. And then I'm going to open up my uh, open up my steering as I'm accelerating for a bit, yep. and I'm going to try to basically cut across. You don't want to go all the way to the right just yet. And then from this point on, I'm ba- back on the brakes. And remember what I was telling you that I noticed you were you had the the habit of going wide. Yeah. I'll, uh, so yeah, try, to your, yep. mm-hmm, try to bring your yeah. Mhm. Try to bring yourself all the way uh, to the left. Yep. Slightly open up at this point. Yep. Very very lightly. Mhm. We are right at the middle yep. of the of the track at this point, looking at the curb. You have to be a bit patient. You don't want to turn in a bit too early and go over the curb. Yep. Um, I still think we missed our entry slightly, but mm-hmm. it was still a good reference. Back on the throttle, and then all I'm gonna do for the <laughs> right hander that is coming on. Mm-hmm. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the throttle momentarily. Look how uh, it's a complete drop. Yep. But then I'm going back on it. Yep. And while I'm at it, I'm also putting second gear. Yep, it, okay. It's gonna drop drop the revs of the car, but yep. it's gonna give us a really nice and smooth exit. Yeah, so and that's to that's to grip up the front end, so you don't end up understeering, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you also just get a smoother exit out of the corner. You yep. don't get that torque and the wheel spin. It's not affecting it, but I think it's just faster, yep. slightly. And it's also safer because uh, the moment I go on the power, it's it's also important to get really close to the right curb. Yep. Um. There's no modulation or anything. It's just little modulation, but relatively uh, easy. Yep, gotcha. We're not going to go to another uh, left-hander that's coming in th- into this uh, area mm-hmm. of the track. Important, uh, the tricky parts are two here. One is to bring it as close as you can to the, to the white line on the right. Mm-hmm. And as you can see, we're getting really close to it. To it, the closer you are, the more comfortable you are, the better. Yeah. Uh, the less you have to lift, and the better angle you're gonna approach the corner with. And all you have to do for this one is just basically coast. I'm basically tapping tapping the brake once. If even if I didn't, it wouldn't really change much. But yeah. it's just a habit mm-hmm. uh, of mine. And you wanna bring it really nice and close <coughs> onto the curb, but. Uh, you don't want to bring it too early for yeah. two reasons. Uh, because one, you're going to sacrifice speed. Mm-hmm. And second, if you hit the curb early, what do you think is going to happen here? It's going to bounce you straight off into the outside wall and it's going to either crash he- you or it's going to compromise your entry into the next. Exactly. It's yeah. going to just... No, usually when you touch it, it's just over. Yeah, you just are just uh, yeah. looking for the reset button already. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we have to get really close though, because that will allow us to be aggressive on the on the way out of the corner and uh, towards uh oh, excuse me towards uh, the next few corners that are a bit different compared to those ones. Yeah, uh, we go to the first left hander, and it's incredibly important to to be disciplined here. Mm-hmm. Uh, very sharp left hander, and it kind of defines the exit out of this corner where you have to go around the curb on the right. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna bring ourselves as close as we can to the right hand side. I think that was pretty close, I guess. Mm-hmm. Let's see. It's pretty good. Yep. And um 
this this curve looks deceiving so we have to break and turn a bit later than uh, what it looks like here because it still goes on you don't mm -hmm. see it here it seems like it's ending yeah at this point but it doesn't so a bit late turn in here you want to meet the apex uh, right at this point mm -hmm. yeah i was still think we missed it a bit but uh, try to not commit too early because if you hit the um, if you hit the curb, it's just gonna bounce you off. And if you miss the corner, even worse. If you break a bit late, or if you get a lock up, yeah. if you go too wide here, you'll have you're gonna have to dance around this uh, yeah. this area, which is pretty costful. And especially if you have to hit the curb, you're gonna have to wait for the car to settle down before you do anything. Yeah. And now we go to the section where I really think you have you have you can unlock sometime. Um, mm -hmm. and that's a section I noticed at least that you could unlock a lot of time. Okay. We're now going going downhill to this double right. It's uh, it's a uh, one corner, but it feels like a double right for me. I'll show you what I mean. Um, re mm -hmm. we're gonna break right at the board here, right before the board on mm -hmm. the left. And um, what is important is that we have a relatively wide entry, but we close in the corner as we are approaching the exit and as you can see for me this is the first apex the first uh right mm -hmm. and i'm gonna try to stay uh to shy away from it quite a lot as you can see we have a uh, like a half a meter width yep. from the curb okay but now at this point i'm still trail breaking into the corner yeah this is basically my second apex and that's when i'm gonna come really close to the curb right here okay as you can see we're closer to the white line Yep. And that's our second <clears> apex. <throat> At this point, you really want to be close to the curb. I'm fine if you don't choose to go close to the curb here. Yeah. If you track out a bit more, but I'd really like you to be uh, over the curb here because I noticed many times you had to throw the car on the outside curb. Yeah. Yeah. I think I saw that. Mm -hmm. So that will give you a really nice exit, a much better exit than. So I think you are probably breaking a bit later in the in this section. Probably, yeah. And you are not controlling the speed as much. Yeah. So try to back it up, keep it relatively tight, but not too tight, and then bring it closer and closer on your way out of the corner. You're mm -hmm. gonna go flat out immediately. And now here is a bit that I really think you'll gain. You can gain up to a second. Yeah. Okay. Um, from this point on. Keep it flat out. <laughs> this I know it sounds. Just, every time uh, I tried to keep it flat, I've just the back end. I just think away you're it. you're breaking here as well. You're not just lifting. Yeah, I think I was touching the brake. Yeah. Mhm. Mm and um, it's pretty simple. It's really easy. Mhm. Mm um, what you need to do is just time your turning right so the car does not touch the, um, so the floor of the car does not touch the ground. Yeah, gotcha. Um, and bottom you out. Mm -hmm. So what is what I'm doing here? As you can see, turning into the corner, getting really close to the curb. At this point, mm -hmm. I don't know if the line looks different uh, as I'm showing it to you. It feels pretty standard to me. So yeah, no, it looks. Does it um, look different? I think maybe I'm turning in a little late again, and that's um. Mm -hmm. that's maybe you're not going as wide as well. Yeah, possibly, and that could be the reason why I'm losing the back end because I'm tr I'm turning uh, when I am turning and I'm turning in m more aggressively to make the corner. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so try to to open up the corner a bit more, even if you have to lift. Try to lift very slightly. Yeah. Very very slightly. You won't need to drop the throttle, let's say, especially not touch the brake. I think this is the area number one where you can really lo uh, gain a lot of time. Yep. And now we go to the second. Um, I noticed that you were. Have, having troubles to find out how much you slow down. I think you were slowing down too much mm -hmm. and you were keeping the car around the middle of the track yep. throughout the whole section. <clears throat> but uh, let, let me show you. When you take that uh, exit out of the, this little uh, chicane, the very fast chicane, <coughs> what you want to do is to basically go go wide. Stay on the throttle and go wide. And for me, this is a triple right um, section. One, two, and three. And the the plan should be uh, to be close to the first one, to be right on the second one, and then to be close on the third one as well. Yeah. And in order to achieve that, you need to have a wider angle of approach. Mm -hmm. You need to be to go all the way to the left. And then lightly further the brake. I think you break a lot more here. Um, 
but it is important that you don't turn in too aggressively, too sharply, because then you're gonna see the curb, and then you, naturally you're gonna get your foot off the pedal. Yeah. And uh, so try to carry a lot more speed, feather off the brake. It's basically very light braking here. Keep the wheel relatively straight. Don't commit too much. You want to bring it really close, but you don't want to bring it too close uh, because it's pretty simple. Uh, let me show you here. If I bring the car too close on the curb, then I'm not going to be able to accelerate for this one. Yeah. I want to meet the apex here. Mm -hmm. I, if I'm already on the apex, I'm just going to sacrifice too much speed. So, yeah. Wider approach, mm -hmm. lightly on the brakes, stay away from the from the first curb, and then mm -hmm. bring yourself closer to the second one. By this time, look how close we are on this one. Yeah. And by this time, as you can see, we're already flat out. Mm -hmm. So this, the second one should be your apex. Yeah. And if you are on the apex on the second one, no matter what, um, you're not going to be easy within the track limits. Um, and what you don't want is you don't want to be as close on the third one because that will mean that you're not carrying enough speed. Mm -hmm. So in both cases, the entry, um, the first right-hander, try to stay away, take a relatively wide approach, carry as much speed as you can, bring the car really close to the second one, and get yourself out of the section. I think you have a lot of time here on this fast S and those this triple right-hander. I mm -hmm. think I noticed that you are losing the most here by yeah. just... Slowing remember, down a bit um, more. I remember when you were behind me, you were quite a distance behind, and then suddenly you were right up my ass. I think you nearly ran up the back of me because you were surprised at how much I slowed down. That's uh, that's okay, though. It's yeah. not an easy section. The car itself is a landmine. Yeah. And um, you were still trying to find your your way um, around, the, around the track. Yeah. Now, we'll go... To this uh, Mickey Mouse area, uh, a section. That's why how I call it. Really easy to front to lock your front tires. Mm -hmm. So you really need to brake in time and uh, quite before that. Mm -hmm. And you want to do most of the braking on the straight line. And do you remember the dip that you saw on the entry of the North Schleifer before? Yeah, yeah. That's the same here. Mm -hmm. I'm braking heavily on a straight line. And um, excuse me, uh, but now. As I'm turning in into the corner, of course, going around the curb, I'm lifting off the brake so I can so I, I don't load the front tires too much because apart from braking, they now have to uh, be used to turn the car and it can it, it will produce a lockup. And now, once I've turned in, I'm now going back on the brakes. Really important that you don't overspeed here. The technique should be similar. But it all depends when you start braking. Yeah. If so, if you start braking a bit late, it's very easy to lock up here. But I don't think it's gonna be the case here. Uh, keeping it relatively tight on the first one for me, it's like a double left here. I I hope that helps. Uh, yeah. Because what I do, um, for me, this is the first left and this is the second one. So I wanna be really close to the first left. I don't know. Right here. Oh, now I'm almost off the brakes, and now I can see the the second left apex. Yeah. Right here, I'm gonna track out slightly, but then I'm gonna immediately commit back into the corner, get it really close to the white line. Mm -hmm. And then the moment we bring the car at this point, I think you were pretty good here. Maybe you were not as sharp and as close on the on the left here. Yeah. But I don't remember you having major issues. Uh, because it's one of those corners where you have to be a bit cautious and you're op most of the time you're on the cautious side of things. So I think it's uh, one of those corners that fit you a bit more. Yeah. Then on your way out, stay away from the curb. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to go to the to the left-hander that follows on. And what I noticed here from you is that you are probably slowing down a bit too much. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to start braking right before the curb ends. Uh, as you can see, not a very long braking zone, so try to keep it all the way to the right. Then, as I'm now heading into the corner, uh, trail braking obviously, but uh, almost off the brakes now. And my apex is, I think, did I hit the curb too much? No, okay. Um, I th I f it, it felt like it. My apex is not early, so don't overcommit just yet. And I think you're doing a good job here. You're Bring yourself at this point, but you'll bring it a lot slower 
and then I remember sometimes where when we were driving, on your way out of the corner, you would be on the left here. Yeah. Oh, when you're on the left, that just means that you're carrying a bit less speed. So, um, try to bring yourself really close to the, to the curb on the left. And once you hit the apex, the moment you are on the apex, you have to go back on the throttle. Obviously, this was pretty close, but we did not hit the curb luckily. Be aggressive with the, with the throttle here. You want to bring it all the way to the right, and then we're gonna go uh, towards this uphill left, uphill right. Excuse me. <coughs> and I saw you had some issues as well here. Yeah, trying no, to find not the... confident here. Not confident here at all. Okay, um, I'm usually using the ke left curb as a reference. I'm not gonna go on the curbs very lightly, as you can see. The braking efficiency of the car is increased when you're going up the hill. Yep, you don't have course. to use the brakes to slow it down. Yep. And right when the curb ends, I'm now turning into the corner. Mm -hmm. That's usually my reference. What I want to do, I don't know if I nailed it or not. I remember. I want to bring it really, really close to the white line. And when we step, we're already on the throttle, but we're going to go flat out once we're past it. Yeah. I think I, I managed to do it really well here. Yeah, okay, that's perfect. Um, you want to bring it this close. Well, I mean, it's not easy, but you want to bring it as close as you can uh, to this section right here because that will allow you to go flat out out of the corner. Yeah. Uh, if you sail off wide, you're going to have to delay <coughs> a lot uh, your exit and that's uh, something we really want to, we would really like to avoid. But it's all about timing. It all starts from here. Try to turn in right as the curb ends mm -hmm. and try to keep it as tight as you can. The more tight you approach it, the more uh, you can just uh, push the throttle without hesitation of yeah. actually running wide, which is another thing that you really need to be careful of. Mm -hmm. And now, of course, we're going to keep it flat out here. And we are going to this down here right corner. Really important to not brake late because you're just going to start locking up. And as you can see, I'm quite... Um, cautious with how I brake. I'm not too aggressive because it's very very easy to look up and remember what I said about the wide entry look how far away I'm from the curb yeah and I'm just gonna maintain that throughout the whole corner mm -hmm. not coming close to the curb until it's really late and as you can see close is still quite far away look yeah. at that yeah you have quite a lot of margin still yeah um, Keeping it far away, uh, maintaining high average speed, and having less issues with the traction so on the corner. That, when you um, that was intentional, was it? Keeping that that extra distance? Yes. Is that just for safety, or is that actually a faster? No, no. Just carrying more speed. When I bring the car closer here, I'm just decreasing the speed of the car. Yep, I don't need gotcha. to. Gotcha. Yep. And that allows us to be aggressive on the exit. You don't have to worry about the rear tires doing yep. anything weird or going downhill. That makes sense. Uh, but try to not bring it close to the curb. When you do that, you just have to... You, not, not, not only you slow down too much, you're also worried if you're going to hit the curb and yep. if you're yep. going to have to adjust to that. So, gotcha. Of course, here, I'm just going to fast forward a bit. Uh, flat out, obviously. And then we're going to go to the fast left-hander, uh, which I really think I, I, I really did not do well here. For some reason, I touched the brake. I shouldn't. <laughs> Uh, generally speaking, you want to come as close as you can to the white line. If you're not, I do not use a concrete uh, for okay. this one. And what you need to do is just have a big lift, aim for the curb, try to obviously not hit it. I don't know why I braked, it's probably not my best of uh, entries on this one. Mm -hmm. um, you want to come really, really close uh, to the curb, but not go over it because any touch here is just going to destroy our lap. Yeah. So you want to keep it relatively tight. Uh, the car itself has plenty of downforce. You're going to go back immediately on the throttle. I think this corner, you were really good. Even when yeah, you were behind me, I think it was okay. you had zero issues. Yeah. yeah. Of course, we're going to keep it flat here. I don't know if you lift or not. Uh, I was not confident holding. I, I have done it, but it was scary as shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, try to turn in a bit later. Yep. I think that's what causes you to be... Uh, Afraid of the corner. Now we're gonna go mm -hmm. towards the first carousel. Usually my breaking point is right before yep. the yellow graffiti. Mm -hmm. um, and try to when you break, try to not to be on the left. Yep. Because now, as you can see, the track narrows down, and you're gonna meet the, yep. the curb. So you're trying to break if you are breaking line the, at a at a horizontal exactly. Angle. Yep, gotcha. 
Exactly. I want to break like this on mm -hmm. a straight line. Yep. And I want to keep it really tight throughout the whole section right here. I, I don't want to extend. I want to turn in early mm -hmm. and try to keep it really, really tight throughout the whole. Obviously, it's going to open up itself at yep. some point on, on your way out. Yep. But I, I don't want to be uh, correcting the car and yeah. bring it back on the inside. I want to keep it nice and tidy yeah. and let it let itself track out. Yeah, I then found of, of I course, was having a tendency to understeer there. I was carrying a little bit too much speed into the Exactly. Yep. And now we're going to go to our favorite um, carousel. <laughs> oh, man. So many people are going to crash here, man. <laughs> yeah, it's it's gonna be terrible. I think the racing is gonna be bad. I, I think they should just put you, put you guys in the GP circuit. But uh, uh, people want to just see for it, the though. sake of it's, it's entertainment. That's the thing. Like people, yeah, people want to see it. And um, here, I'm gonna play it once. It was pretty nasty. But what you want to do here? As you go towards the car, so obviously you don't want to brake too late. Mm -hmm. You want to bring the car progressively. Yeah. You don't want to be on the on the on the left here and go like this. It's impossible to have such a tight angle. So you want to bring the f the 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 left the left tires first. First front left, bring it nicely into the tarmac. Around here. Obviously down into first gear. And um, now from this point on, once the car lands into this area, which is the tricky part, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, once it lands this uh, on this area, you just have to stay in first, try to not over rev the car, and basically get yourself out of the carousel. Because if you don't miss out on the carousel on the uh, on the initial turning point, then it's a, it would be a shame if you do it because you are too aggressive on the throttle. So just have to be a bit cautious here. Yep. And uh, it's one of the hardest entries for me because this is the line I take with every car, but this car, look at this. Look at my wheel. <laughs> <laughs> so Jeez. the only thing I, I can say is try to not to brake late. Yeah, yeah. You want to have the car as settled as possible yeah. as you turn in over that yeah. little crest. Yeah, because yep. I don't have a better entry than this. I don't. I can't think of a better entry. Yeah, maybe, I found maybe exactly the same thing. Just trying to have the car as settled as possible when I turn in, so I'm not. I don't have any because with the thing with the race, the thing with the race car is anytime, anytime you're shifting weight forward or backwards, you have less overall grip than you do if the car mm -hmm. is planted and settled so it's better to slow down yeah, earlier and have that yeah yeah maybe we want we want to be basically coasting into the corner yeah especially with this one i mean this is random yeah. <laughs> uh and of course now at this point as i said in mm -hmm. first gear being nice in the carousel and on our way out of it you have to be extremely patient here try to you don't to meet you don't want to meet the right curb on your way out of the corner yeah and uh, now we're going to this little area, which for me is really fun. Yeah, you mentioned yesterday this was your favorite corner. Yeah. Um, you want to track out on all the way to the right, try to mm -hmm. not get a silly off road here. I've had it sometimes. Right. Uh, and you want to basically uh, feather the brake here, mm -hmm. right at the when the, car, the curb starts. And this is a very deceiving corner where many people slow down too much. So try to not do that. You can carry a lot of speed into it. Uh, obviously, try to not hit the curb too er uh, early. Yep. It's a relatively late apex. You want to bring it nice and smooth over the white line. And I'm immediately back on the throttle, as you can see. Yep. And all I'm going to do for this, this part, it's really important that you try to replicate it, is that you don't want to break. If you take this nice line, all I'm going to do here, out of this corner, I'm going to have a, a big drop on the throttle. And then I'm just going to be able to steer the car nicely, hugging the inside. Then I'm already uh, back on the power again. And I'm going to use all the width of the track on the left, using the curbs, uh, the curb nicely. Mm -hmm. And then for this one, very light braking. 
and it's quite, it's a bit blind so you have to turn in already before you actually see the corner and that's exactly what i'm doing keeping it nice on the inside very close to the curbs once again but here as as i said with the previous corner very light braking because the car has plenty of downforce it can take those corners pretty easily so try to not sacrifice too much speed and be a bit more confident if yep. you are um if you can and now for this section i think um this is one of the sections that uh, after the uh, triple right hander that we saw before, I think this is another section um, from this point and on, I think you, you can really find a lot of time. Yeah. And it starts already uh, here. Okay. As you approach this <clears> corner, <throat> you just have to drop the throttle progressively. Yeah. You can see? So you have to carry a lot of speed to right. go around the curb, obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't want to touch it at this point. It's just gonna throw you to the left, and it's gonna set us up very uh, a lot worse for what is coming. Mm -hmm. And now, for the, uh, once we go towards this part of the track, once you are off the curb, um, you can now see the 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 corner that is coming up mm -hmm. lightly on the brakes, small yeah. tap on the brakes once again, uh, not overdoing things, and then we're gonna slightly put the car towards the curb. We're not gonna overcommit. I don't want to if you commit here, if you touch the curb here, mm -hmm. it's gonna throw you off. Yeah. Not too much, but enough that you don't hit the curb here. That's where I want you to go over the curb, right mm -hmm. here. And you want to basically control your throttle. You want to be really careful here. You don't want to overdo it because you're just gonna sail out uh, track out wide. And now, it is really impor important to be sharp. Um, I'm going to have a very slow, a very quick moment where I'm just dropping the throttle completely. And that's when I'm going to swing the wheel to the right immediately. Look at this. Gotcha. Once oh, I'm lifting... Yeah, that's so early, uh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to aim to go way over a curb here. And I think I actually yeah. missed the curb here. I usually cut across a lot more. So it's really important that you are very sharp here. Mm. Um, you don't use a curb initially. One thing I am noticing in general is that you're a lot more aggressive on your steering inputs than I am, I think. Like, I'm, I'm, yeah. a, lot, I'm a lot more gradual than you are. Not necessarily smoother overall, but just, mm -hmm. more, just more gradual, I think. Like, my, my extremes aren't as far out as yours are, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I think this is a bit aggravated from the setup. That yeah, is very okay. under theory. Yeah. Uh, the card is not as sharp, so... Uh, it won't punish me, so yeah. probably that's why. Yeah. Uh, if you see my data packs, for example, I'm probably the opposite. I'm very, very smooth, yeah, very yeah. gradual as well. Yeah. But here we really have to work the car, and at this point, again, I'm just gonna recap it. Um, try to stay away from the curb. Try to get really close on the second part, mm -hmm. and then once you're on it, big lift on the throttle. Not big lift, but a big lift in terms of. Uh, percentage yeah not the duration yeah uh and then swing the wheel immediately on the right cut across the curb and then go back on the throttle gotcha. now we're gonna go to the up here right and this is a blind one but you can carry so much more speed than what you think uh going on the brakes and then aiming towards the curb you never want to make contact with this one uh, it's such a such a tall one mm -hmm. and uh, as you can see the moment you hit the the apex you want to go back on the throttle. Make sure you use all the track width on your way out of the, this corner. I'm probably a bit too much here overdoing it. Yeah, you're taking a bit uh, of a risk there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, but then I'm going to bring it back, it back at the middle of the track. And that's really important here. Don't go too much on the right. You want to keep it uh, really tight, lightly on the brakes. <clears throat> and try to bring it really, really close to the curb right here. Yeah. See how close we are? Mm-hmm. You want to be here, but also maintain the car towards the inside throughout, throughout the whole section. And I'm going to show you why. Okay. Uh, I'm not being too aggressive. I'm not letting the car go all the way to the right because I still want to be right on the white line on my way out of the corner. So it's like a double left here. Yeah. Um, okay. That's the first. Right here. Mm -hmm. Keeping it tight and smooth. And then using it on the second as well. Why am I doing that? Why am I not letting the car go all the way to the right? 
Because now, as you can see, we have a right hander yeah, coming in. You don't in. want to have to break diagonally in the opposite direction and then transition, you know, mm -hmm. a greater. Exactly. Yeah. Use the concrete here. Yep. And um, once you start turning in, um, you want to start turning in right as we go downhill. Um, light tap on the brakes, use the rear of the car. Mm -hmm. To get around this uh, corner, you really want to feel like you're letting the car get loose. Yep. Um, try to, I don't know how far, I think you were quite far away from the apex when I was watching you out around the section. Uh, yeah, I th both laps I was carrying too much speed and ended up having mm -hmm. to sort of run wide. I think I was understeering. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you want to go immediately back on the throttle yep. and now we're going to go to the next right-hander. Well, it's very deceiving because you already see the, the curb and you see the apex. Yep. And I saw you sometimes turning a bit too early. Mm -hmm. But uh, you want to turn in very, very late here. Obviously, yep. light up on the brakes <clears throat> and then just coasting into the section. The yep. track is really wide here. Mm. So, look at this. Yeah, I think that's one of the things that causes this track to be so difficult for people is that it does vary in its width so dramatically throughout the lap. So if you're yeah, not familiar yeah, with so it, many corners. Yeah, you, if you're not and familiar with the circuit, you end up leaving so much time on the table just because you don't realize how far you can run wide in some sections. And uh, yeah, sure. And it's yeah. not an easy track. No. It's not like those corners are easy and you have a lot no. of track width and it's all around you have walls around you yeah. and very tall curbs where if you put a foot wrong it's just over yeah um try to not turn in too early here uh wait for the for the car for the apex mm -hmm. and this is basically our apex here look how late we are yeah. and it doesn't matter because now i'm going back on the throttle immediately and mm -hmm. look how much room we have yeah. we have we can almost fit a car here yeah so um, so does that mean you don't could, be afraid like would you ideally would you carry more speed and go even wider on the exit or do you feel like what you did there was no awesome? i don't think so i think i don't think so because when you hook it up then you need some time to unhook it and yeah also not avoid getting a north track yeah okay uh, here okay so you see you have yeah, to kind of travel you can't quite ease a lot back on yeah yeah exactly gotcha. but the important part in our case i think you are turning a bit too early so okay. try to uh, commit a bit later into the corner. Yep. And then um, it's the opposite here. You have to turn in a bit earlier. Mm -hmm. And I'm always using this graffiti that sta sticks out as my breaking point. Mm -hmm. um, and what I want to do here, I want to turn in a lot earlier. Yep. And this is basically my apex. I don't know how familiar you are on this part of the circuit. Not so. With uh, your line. Yeah, this is the weakest part of the circuit for me. Mm hmm. So it is really important that you uh, commit a bit earlier. Mm -hmm. This is basically our apex. Yep. And because now, as you can see, I have to correct. Obviously. Yeah. Um, I can now straight line it here. I don't. If if you run out wide, you're gonna have to carry the curb, uh, carry over the curb, and yep. it's just really unsettling. Even now that I straight line, look how much car is unsettled yeah, already. Yeah. So try to get a nice and early turn in. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to the jump. I think another section where you can easily gain a lot of time. Yep. And I'm going to lift before that. Okay. And So I'd, you can easily pick up damage if you're on the throttle here for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah. So you're actually, uh, you're not braking at all. No. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm heavy on the brakes before yeah, that you don't line. have to yeah okay interesting no i'm interesting. only breaking when and look how little i'm breaking yeah okay because i'm finding yeah i'm f i'm finding that if i don't break there i'm when i do try to break later on i just slide straight on but it's obviously because no, you're no, lifting no, no. you're lifting quite a bit sooner i'm probably breaking and lifting at the same time mm -hmm. and yeah. you know what's um I actually braked a bit too much here than I would have liked. Okay. Uh, so here, we're going to go into the jump. Once the car l uh, lands, we're now on the brakes, mm -hmm. and we're looking at the first right. right. Yep. If you manage to hit the first right uh, correctly, mm -hmm. then the whole section becomes very, very simple. Yep. You can see, hooking the inside nicely. Yeah, okay. And from this point on, I'm already flat out and yep. I'm not going to back off for anything. Yeah. So light up on the brakes, get your try to stay really sharp 
mm-hmm. and get the first apex right because after this point all you have to do is just keep it flat out get the second apex as well nice and smooth yeah. and now i guess you lift here sometimes yeah um, it, again it's just lack of confidence with the circuit yeah. at this point yeah so mm-hmm. here you have to you have a blind turn in to the left there's not really any moment i can pick up because it's all about how much speed yeah, you carry yeah. and the momentum you have and the line but generally speaking you want to start turning in before you actually see the corner mm-hmm. and obviously keep it easily flat out i think you can easily gain here a few a couple of seconds yeah i think so and uh now we go towards the second carousel obviously try to stay away from those curbs mm-hmm. uh the guys at the cup car in the practice they've had a lot of issues here because the car is obviously on the limit yeah uh, here oh. this and now next, for this one this next right hander i'm losing a chunk of time as well just in terms of it, confidence yeah it requires a lot of confidence yeah, yeah. um you want to break right be- before this final graffiti that sticks out mm-hmm. but you have to break really really smoothly look at this yeah you're barely touching it yeah yeah the car has a lot of downforce. You don't have to worry about the rear end of the car. Mm-hmm. All you have to worry about is getting yourself close to the curb, which I'm not. Yeah. And I'm go- it's, it's going to result into a small error that I'm just going to show you. Mm-hmm. Uh, you want to stay a bit closer to the curb than what I just did. Mm-hmm. And then you want to keep the car around the middle of the track. Right. And okay. since I missed the apex a bit... I'm now a bit more to the left, yeah, a le- so to the left than I would have liked to. Yeah, you haven't set up the left yeah, quite as well exactly. as you could have. Gotcha. gotcha. I would like to be half a meter to the right on both occasions mm-hmm. because now, now that I have to break for this corner, yep. look at this. I'm now trying to set up for it, but yep. it's too late. And you've lost the back end. Yep. And now I'm far away from the apex. I think yep. we lost like four tenths here, three, four tenths. Okay. Um, but it, it was... Really, I would try to get a good reference for every corner, mm-hmm. but it's not so easy. <laughs> and I think this is a corner where I really... This is the first corner that I can think of that we really messed out. But I'm showing you what I did wrong. Yeah. And I, I still think it can be... I don't know, mate. I uh, think pro- for what you guys charge, every single corner should be absolutely perfect. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I think sometimes... I honestly, sometimes I think it's more valuable actually seeing a mistake and talking about the mistake rather yeah. than you know like if, if everything just looks perfect it doesn't stand out exactly so, i do that on my tutorials sometimes yeah, yeah. um uh, sometimes on oh, i leave the lap on purpose but sometimes yeah i just cannot improve my lap time yeah so i'm forced to do it but and here yeah, what i did uh i slowed down a bit less than i should have mm-hmm. so um, I ran out a bit wide and a bit uh, wide here and that did not allow me to set up uh, properly but yeah. what you want to do here bring it really close on the entry but I think you're probably just slowing down too much yeah. so try to feather the brake instead of uh, yeah. oh, hitting that's exactly it too aggressively it yeah, I was, and I am I'm a little bit better now than I was in the fastest lap that I did mm-hmm. yesterday but um, yeah it was just not carrying enough speed because I wasn't confident on how far I could push it into that right hander <clears throat> Definitely. Yeah. And now for the second carousel, light up on a brake. The rear end should remain very easily on the without any issues. Yep. And you want to bring the car really down here. Yep. I think you were you were a bit far away. Look how much tight we are. Yeah. Well, almost with four wheels on mm-hmm. the tarmac. Yeah. You want to drop the car a lot more for this one. Uh, it's not as steep, and it it's much more easy to handle. Yeah. This one much more enjoyable as well. Mm-hmm. You want to keep it nice and tight throughout. And then we're going to go uh, towards the final corners. Uh, now we're going to go before the big straight. And all you have to do for this one, oh, momentarily tapping the brakes, mm-hmm. aiming for the curb. You really need to hit the apex here. Yep. Very nice. Once you do that, you go back on the throttle. I don't know how familiar you are here. Yeah, I think I'm not too bad here. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to open up our line, let the car track out naturally. Yep. And then as I want to bring it closer and closer to the inside, I'm just going to drop the throttle slightly, yep. keeping it nice and tidy, close to the curb. I don't want to be close to the line and the curb because that usually means that I'm sacrificing too much speed. Yep. 
And now obviously we're on the big straight. Mm-hmm. I'm now gonna fast forward a bit. I'm gonna go once you once you play on on uh, half on half speed. Once you put the real time, it feels like you're going so fast. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it looks like fast forward. But it's just normal. It doesn't look fast forward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So obviously here, <laughs> if you have someone with uh, a second away, just weave around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, it works. Trust me. Uh, that's just uh, between me and you, though. Uh, and now we go to the final corner. Really tricky with this car. I think people are just going to wreck here. Not with others, but on, yeah, on their own. people are just going to not get the point. For, yeah. Look at me here on this one. I think I it was not very smooth. I'm just trying to brake. Look how lightly I'm brake. Yeah, yeah. And then everything is just about to fall apart on its own. <laughs> This is the part that it really affects the car. This yeah. part, bump. There's a big bump there you don't realize. But you can't go around it because you're going to have such a terrible line. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh, that was, you remember anyway. that lap where, I think it was the last lap we did in the session yesterday where I think I hit that bump and just speed straight on. Yep. Yeah, I think that's what it was. When you should start braking is right when the curb kind of ends here. Yep, okay. Exactly. Right before that, okay. you want to break hard here on a straight. Now that we are on a straight line, yeah. And uh, I'm having to decrease the brake pressure because now I'm turning into this bump. Yep. And then I'm gonna pick it right back up once mm -hmm. the car is settled and back on a straight line, let's yep. say. And uh, what you want to do for this corner, um, you have to wait. Don't turn in too early. You don't want to place it on the curb yep. for any reason mm -hmm. because you saw how it reacts. Mm -hmm have to go around it be careful be patient with the throttle application mm -hmm. here um, because it might put you a bit wide and yep. of course you may have to modulate it as well on yep. your way here uh, because it's quite steep and the rear end might want to come around if you're full throttle but it yep. should be okay mm -hmm. and that will give you um, a nice run out of the corner and obviously uh, to the start finish line and then hopefully you're gonna be able to make it there easy as that uh, huh? because I don't, <laughs> because no no it's 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 so difficult like yeah. this, this car is just no design for this so no. uh, i don't know i think whoever is just keeping it on the track are gonna get a top down <laughs> i think so i think so um i'll shoot See you a message you. later on and let you know how i went i'll, I'll watch you but yeah <laughs> just don't don't be yelling at your screen when i do everything wrong <laughs> <laughs> no, mate, no, mate. All right, oh, mate. All good. See you later. Good to see you. You too, see mate. You. Bye.